I'm Gloria. I'm a museum ambassador here at the ASU Art Museum, and today I'll be reading you Our Moms by Q. Futrell. Hi, my name is Michael. I love to ride my bike after school. My favorite part about school is lunch. Hello, my name is Anne. I love to draw brightly colored pictures. When I grow up, I'm going to be an artist. Hola, me llamo Jennifer. I love solving hard math problems. Yesterday, my teacher asked the class a really tough question and I was the only one who knew the right answer. Hi, my name is Paul. I love playing video games. I'm the best player in town. No one can top my high score. One thing we have in common is that all our moms are in prison. A prison is a place where our moms have to live right now, but we look forward to the day when they come back home. My mom did not follow the rules when she was home, said Paul. Mine did not either, both Michael and Jennifer said. Anne sat up and said my mom did follow the rules. She just hung around people who did not follow them, and she got in just as much trouble as they did. Now she's in prison too. I remember being so sad when my mom left, explained Anne. I did not understand what I did to make her leave, added Paul. Did I play too many ga video games that upset her? I kind of felt like it was my fault too, said Jennifer. Well, I wanted to know who was going to cook the tacos on Taco Tuesday, since my mom would not be there, Michael shrugged and looked confused. I thought it was cool when my grandma sat down with me the night after the police left my house to tell me what happened, said Michael. She told my mom that, she told me my mom had made a choice that led to a consequence. Grandma explained that a consequence is something that happens after you do something wrong. Like if you do not eat all your vegetables at dinner, your consequence would be no ice cream for dessert. Boy, I hate consequence, said Michael. I love my mom and I miss her every day, said Jennifer. She smiled and said, each time we talk, mom tells me, te amo, to remind me that she loves me. I miss my mom too, chimed in Anne. During our visits, she always tells me to make sure I pick the right friends. Anyone who thinks it's cool to break the rules and not listen to the teacher is not my friend, she said. I send my mom a new letter every week, Michael said proudly. When grandma said I visit, we have to get up very early. I have to wear certain clothes or they will not let me visit. Because it is so far, it takes forever to get there. I love going to visit my mom and the, the I love going to visit my mom the most because of the candy I get from the vending machines along there. I love telling my mom about all the new levels I am on with my games, said Paul. It is like she is keeping score for me because she reminds me of what I told her at our last visit. Paul added, My mom assures me that when she calls that I do not do anything wrong. She says she did not leave because of me, but because of bad choice that she made. That makes me feel better, Paul said. Paul smiled. We might look different and speak differently, but one thing we have in common is that all our moms are in prison. This does not mean we'll go to prison, said Michael. It does not mean that we want to tell everyone where our moms are, added Anne. Having a parent incarcerated does not mean I am weird, said Paul. It simply means our moms made a wrong choice or hung out with the wrong friends, but they still love us. They just don't live with us right now. They just don't live with us right now, Jennifer said. It is good to know we are not the only kids who have moms in prison, agreed Jennifer, Michael, Paul, and Yeah.